Oh, what's up guys? It's your boy Undertale.edits, and today we're going to be talking about how to make memes in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's check this out. Sega. So, I know there's already a lot of videos on YouTube claiming that they can teach you how to edit in 4 hours, or 30 minutes, or 20 minutes, or whatever they're claiming. But the reality of it is, uh, it's not that complicated, and really you can learn everything you need to know in under 5 minutes. So first we're just going to look at what not to do while you're editing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back! My name is Not Ian Sands- <laughs> And this, of course, is learn how to edit stuff. Very excited about today's video. You know why? Because it's the first video in an installment of videos that I'm calling Meme Editing 101. Because there's nothing more enjoyable to me than looking through all the comments on all of my videos and just seeing the word meme everywhere. It's just kind of everywhere. Everyone's like, do memes, more memes. Can we get more memes? So as you can clearly see, this man has gone completely insane and has lost all perception of reality. All right, guys, I've got Premiere open and down on my timeline, I have the clip that you saw at the very beginning of this video, but there are no effects on it. Now you could do it like this guy and go in keyframe by keyframe for every little thing and be a complete nerd. Or you could get up here with the big boys and do it the right way. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just review your footage. Make sure it's exactly what you want to use for your meme. And just make sure you pick out something that you think has a lot of memeable potential. So uh, I'm going to play my clip here. Do memes! More memes! Can we get more memes? So as you can see, it's a pretty straightforward clip. A uh, little, little over two seconds long and nothing too much so the first thing that you're going to want to do is go over to the effects panel and find the distortion effect you'll scroll down and you're going to apply this audio effect onto your clips audio and what that is going to do is actually going to make your audio sound really funny so once you apply the effect to your audio you're going to want to go over to the effect control panel scroll down and go over where it says edit by the distortion so this screen is going to pop up uh, you can actually adjust this to fit your uh, gaming monitors preferences so i'm just going to put it over here for right now so then you'll go over here you see where it says presets so they have a bunch of different presets uh and you can kind of actually customize these yourself by sort of messing around with the positives and negatives and sort of just bending them around, making them sound funny. But that's a little too much work, and it doesn't really sound as funny as the presets they already have. So you're going to want to go over to these presets and select the one that says Maximum Pain. And what that is going to do is actually make the audio just sound really funny. So now let's uh, give our audio a little bit of a listen. So, uh, yeah, I think that sounds pretty good. And as we were playing that, you could see the audio level over here. Uh, you could actually see that this little indicator lit up, and that is good. You're going to want that to be always lit up at all times. Uh, that means the audio level is uh, very funny. That's the funny indicator right there. That's what that's what they call it up here. If that's red, that means it's funny. So now that we have our audio done, we're going to want to mess around with the video a bit. So we're going to go over here to our color panel. So once you go over to this panel, you'll see you have a bunch of different options, but you really don't need any of this other stuff. All you're going to need is where it says creative. Uh, and you can see they have a bunch of different presets for pre-existing, pre-made looks that you can select. But, uh, I mean, those are really just made for a bunch of losers that want to make actual films. So, for, for, for us gamers, uh, you're just going to want to go over here to where it says adjustments. The most important tool that you're ever going to use in Premiere Pro is the sharpen tool. And for every single video you're ever going to use, you're going to want to just click and just turn that up to 100%. And while you're at it, you're also going to want to turn vibrance all the way up. So that's going to really make the image kind of pop, you know. You can see, now you can start to see how 
Yeah, right there. You can you can really see how much this image is really just being improved by our editing. So saturation's another big thing. You're going to want to turn that all the way up to 200%. So after you've changed these three things all the way up, you're going to want to go up to where it says intensity and also turn that all the way up. And so that way you you can really tell this image is starting to just really pop out and you can go frame by frame. You can really tell. But I know what you're thinking, you know, oh, this image doesn't look very natural. We need a bit of color grading. I completely agree. So how we're going to color grade this to make it a bit more natural, uh, you're going to want to go over here to where it says shadow and highlight tint. You're going to want to select the wheel and then you're going to want to click over here to the far upper right. And you're going to want to do the exact same thing. Might even go a little bit purple on the other one. Or it, it kind of depends on the footage. You might even want to go yellow or purple or maybe even a bit blue. I think for this footage, we're going to want to go to yellow right about here. And then you're going to want to turn the tint balance all the way up. All right, now I say we take a second and sort of just preview our footage so far. So as you can see, our footage is coming along pretty well. Uh, we got the audio perfect, uh, the color grading, it looks great. Now I think we need to just add... Um, another video effect just to make the footage look a bit more fluid because it's a bit boring and you're not going to get that reddit gold if it's just a static little clip. So we're going to go over here to our effects panel. We're going to apply the turbulent displace effect onto our video. And you're going to want to go over here and to where it says displacement you're going to select bulge. And then we are going to do a bit of keyframing. I know, I know. But don't worry, we're not being nerds about it. We're going to do it the fun way. So you're going to click Toggle Animation for a mount. You're going to put that over there and select an add another keyframe and add it just to 100. So what that is going to do is that is going to animate our footage just a bit. So it's a bit, bit more... We're, it's going to increase our bulge. It's going to increase the bulge from 50 to 100. So now let's just check that out. All right, so our footage is almost perfect, but I'm going to add one last thing to our video. It's going to be the mosaic effect, and we're going to drag that onto our video. And you can see uh, it completely pixelates it, uh, which is good because we actually don't really want that high quality of video or else people will think like, you know, oh, we spent all of our budget on the camera and we're, we're, we're going to want to direct attention away from that a bit. So we're going to actually make this 200 by 200 just to uh, sort of show how to humble ourselves, to bring down the production value. So now uh, let's preview our finished meme. Now that you've finished that, uh, congratulations, you've created a uh, abomination of nature. So now you're going to want to export your video so you can post it to r slash funny. And you're going to go to export and then media. And uh, just give it a second, it'll pop up in a minute. Uh, any second now, it'll, it'll, it's just going to pop up. It's like a little jump scare, actually. Play a little, play a little FNAF animation. You know, uh, sometimes it, uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, all right, it took a little bit, but I finally got the export screen to come up. So you're going to want to make sure the output name is uh, something that you, uh, you'll remember. And then after that, you uh, download Sony Vegas. 